is Evelino Mane, Lady of the Realm. Wishing you greetings and salutation. Right. Right. And I like to discuss something that gets on my last nerve. Reality shows. Yes. Reality shows. And I wanted to do this because I plan on doing personal reviews of reality shows later. Not now. Later. Huh? But I wanted to say my own personal irritants with reality shows. And the first one would have to be this whole it's real. Then it's not complex. My attitude is it's already on television. It already constitutes itself as probably not being real unless and only unless it's a documentary. If it's a documentary, then I kinda give it some leeway and say, yeah, it's probably real, I could probably look the stuff up, and it probably is true to it. Yeah. Uh, two, three, for the exploitive behavior of the care of the people that they choose as subjects to, you know, poke around and say, Dance monkey, get back in that cage and dance monkey, dance. And stories. I cannot stand exploitative nonsense. It just makes you feel dirty. And to quote Daria, not, not Daria, Jane from and Daria, not in a good way. You know, the bad kind. Ugh. Now, it's not saying that they can't have a reality show that doesn't exploit people. I'm sure there are plenty. I mean, look at Tamara, T and Tamara. They're not exploiting them at all, even though I have to admit. Do we have to hear about Tia? I know one of them got pregnant. I'm at a loss on which. I just know one got pregnant. And the other one didn't, and the other one wanted to have a coitus with someone else, and uh, no, just, just ruined my childhood, okay, Tia or Tamara, whichever one of you was pregnant, just ruined my childhood. <sighs> it's not saying she can't, she's only able to, I understand. Most time women do want to have it because of the influx of, you know, hormones and stuff, which again, I find that to be questionable because I'm thinking, when the body or the person want to refrain from sex, because I'm thinking, logically, yeah, I've already had it, I'm already having a baby, why am I going to continue to have others? I'm already in a state of my body's in so much pain and agony and uh, so why? Why am I going to put myself through that again? No offense. Go out and have you have that urge, but still. Don't just anyways. On to the third thing I dislike about reality shows. <sighs> It's mostly just the media just being used as a way for the media to cash in on things. I mean, shows like Honey Boo Boo, Jersey Shore, and I would probably say Redneck Vacation, maybe. Be oh, and Duck Dynasty. That's right, I forgot. All four of these shows, and two of them I like. 
And I will openly admit, I do actually like a reality show. You know, it's pretty darn bad. And I don't mind, though, doing this when it's a syndicated television show and they're just borrowing the uh, whole redneck attitude. And, you know, maybe they don't actually use a girl like Alana uh, from Honey Boo Boo getting up there and being like, huh, you're better redneck and ass. Yes. Yes. Instead, maybe have another girl who does the same thing as Alana, but it's an actor and they actually know what they're doing and they get what Alana tries to do, but they don't try to dumb it down so much. If you get what I mean, like, it, it doesn't feel like they took her, put her up there and start making her go, oh, and film these people who look whom, in my opinion, are not really stupid. I don't think they're stupid. I think it's just a TV show. It's what they do for, you know, drama and just to get people to watch. That's why I don't care for Jersey Shore either. But, again, those are all going to be separate reviews from my perspective. And there will be reasons to why I hate these shows. Okay? Okay. But, like I said, respective places, okay? And after that, I guess, if anything, is... I find them personally disappointing. After all that nonsense, you know, you hear the media hype it up with Honey Boo Boo Child, and, you know, frankly, I don't think they're good role models. I totally agree with people who say, that's not a role model, that's... But then, who am I to judge? Maybe it's not a role model for me. Maybe it's not a role model for someone like me, who's gonna get, who's gonna go to college, who's gonna get an education, who's gonna go on with her life. Maybe this is a role model for the frustrated redneck and wife who lives at home and has all these kids. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I love children, I just think there should be a certain limit on how many children we have to love. But, you know, back to what I was saying. Does that, does that not make sense? I mean, I look at it from the perspective of Roseanne. You know, Roseanne? Redneck wife, or redneck womanhood, whatever. I mean, I know basically it means uneducated. I try not to say it that often because it's just like the N-word, you just don't say it. Unless, you know, you're taking it seriously. And, or I don't use it as a term to, you know, make other people feel bad about themselves. I know we've taken that word recently and made it into a, I'm redneck and I'm proud. Which I go, okay. Whatever. You go do that. I believe uh, Amazing Atheist did a review of this, too. Of Honey Boo Boo, Honey Boo Boo Child. But, frankly, I watched the show, and again, this would be a review. I just look at it as, okay, she's not, well, okay. Like I said, this would be its own respective review. <sighs> so, anyways. This is definitely O'Malley, right? Signing out and telling you to follow her on Tumblr, Twitter, and you better recognize my new little fan fiction. You can go to my channel, click on uh, Daria's fanfic, and follow me there. And have a great night. Bye.